Ladies and gentlemen, I am back. I know it's been a while since I've done a video, guys, but <clears throat> I was trying to decide what I want to do with this channel. I heard YouTube's going through a lot of things, and, um, you know, I'm doing this mainly for fun, but I want to try to build this channel up, um, you know, to show you how to prepare yourself, you know, how to survive, you know, just different things um, that I'm doing with my, uh, my, uh, my guns, my armory, I, I call it. Um, and just give you guys some tips and tricks and some ideas to maybe the new, you know, the the newbies who are just now getting into guns. You know, just my point of view on certain things. Um, today, I actually, real quick, just want to review. Um, I thought I was done with my rifle, my M&P 15 uh, tactical, guys. I thought I was done with it, but I'm not. Um, I got a couple more things I want to do with it. Basically, I'm ordering a, a new red dot, another UTG 4.2 red dot for this one. And also... A, a 3x utg 3x magnifier yes i'm a utg junkie um just like magpul fanboys or strike industry fanboys i'm a utg junkie i like utg stuff you know their stuff is real simple um they're cheap um they have stuff that's made in america some stuff is made in china but it works and it's re it's you know pretty inexpensive um so um i picked up utg you can see this. It's a Model 4 extension tube and the sling mount with QD loop. Now, I've already ordered a sling for this thing. And I showed you guys how I mounted it last week. I used the, basically a, a dog or cat collar to mount it. But I kept thinking to myself, you know what? I can clean this up. I can do a lot better with this. I can have it really streamlined and looking real good. So, I ended up ordering this, this Model 4. Um, extension tube ambi sling mount and let me tell you it is sexy if you can see that on there um, without having to take um, the buffer tube apart or the uh, castle nut apart you basically just mount this thing right in front of the castle tube um, it's real quick and it's really easy to to install it's just two screws if you can see that right there two screws that just comes out um, there's some some little like sticky paper you kind of stick in there just to kind of get it to fit real real tight and then you screw these down and you put it into your base plate right here and it's 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 pretty firm guys now if you've seen my other videos i've had where i drilled a hole through the uh, buffer tube and i used the other mag piece pool to kind of get it to flush mount but i took that off um it was kind of ugly anyways but it, it i mean it did the trick I still have the hole in the buffer tube, but I can just mount this this way it, it to get the perfect length of pull on this gun with the uh, Magpul um, fixed stock. No wiggle, no jiggle. It's good to go. You know, so I just took that piece off and put this on. It comes with the, the good thing about this. I got it for, man, man I forgot, maybe 10 bucks off of uh, eBay. It comes with the, the quick detach ring already. Let me see if I can get a better view of that. Um, trying to do this with one hand nope you guys get the point I mean it's quick to attach it comes off um, it's real nice um, like I said I'm a UTG fanboy um, and this is this is probably it hopefully this is it for this rifle like I said I have uh, another 4.2 UTG red dot coming in with the UTG 3x magnifier I'll do a separate review on that when, once that comes in hopefully by by next week but you know this is a lot more cleaner than what i had on here um and as you can see it's again still the perfect length of pull with the prs butt pad on there um so tell me what you guys think if you like it just a quick i think i got again i got i got it off ebay i think 10 bucks maybe and honestly when i ordered it i didn't even know it was utg and when i got it and i read it i was like oh wow this was utg so it ended up working out real good so going forward i'm gonna keep this channel going guys um I'm trying to build up my fan base um, and just try to get, you know, to the young crowd, to the women, um, to, you know, people who are interested in guns, you know, just trying to keep this channel going with all the drama that's going on with YouTube. So I'm going to continue and I'm not going to give up. I'm going to build this channel up. So please like, share, subscribe and uh, enjoy your day.